welcome back to our channel trip digger yesterday we had we had been discussing regarding the preparation for civil service examinations it's not only for the preparation for the civil service examination it is also for skill development any student any one who is going for a profession a career growth they should be aware of the general things what is going around especially for those civil servant aspirants for those the most important topics to be covered the most important books to be covered what we are going to discuss today please welcome to dream bigger don't forget to like it to subscribe and also to share it to your friends so that many more will be benefited and if any of your comments or take it positively and will post the further videos as per the requirement of the aspirants as we were discussing in our previous video regarding the environmental sciences sciences here you find the textbook of geography class 7 our environment our environment this is published by ncr this gives you a deep insight an outline about the environment the environment is the most important because it is surrounding your everyday life and then i request the students to follow the simple books of class 8 9 10 10 so that you will cover all the fundamental aspects which are required for your future life either go either, either you go for the civil service or the group examination or for any kind of other competitive examinations the basics if you want to learn the basic is secondary school Secondary school means I am not even mentioning about the sixth, seventh, eighth, eighth, ninth, tenth is more important than anything else. And here you find that one. This is our past history. In civil service examination and the group examinations and all that one, uh, history, geography, uh, political science and economics, and sociology. they cover most of the topics most of the 70% of the question paper will be covering on this one only when you go for the main examination also you find general studies paper 1 general studies paper 2 general studies paper 3 they are completely covering only these subjects that is 250 marks 250 marks 250 marks 750 all together and the fourth paper is science and technology we will discuss about science and technology in our next video now this is the basics if you go through this one we will know about our past we have to know about the past so that we will understand how this present situation has started and then we will look at plan for the future and then here you find part 2 history this is also ncert and here you find in the advanced studies and all that one if you are taking your uh, optional and all that one here you find 11th standard 11th standard 12th standard history books and this will cover most of the topics which are coming in the examinations then you find indian physical environment this indian physical environment what i was saying the environment and sciences this will be covering on india india indian physical environment the land the water bodies the biosphere and all the required elements you find in this one and here this economic geography in this economic geography you will cover india people and economy 
all economic activities, all the trade activities, all commercial activities of the global life here in which you find it, the distribution of wealth is affected. And here, next one is the human geography. As I was discussing about this one, this is human geography. Humans, how the human settlement started, how the urban life started, why people start migrating from one place to the other place, the nomadic case to the present days, and all that we find in this one, the human settlement is most urban, rural, the tribal, all kinds of the tribes, ethnic groups, everything you find in this one. This is also very, very important and it is also exact publication also. And here you find contemporary India. Contemporary India, you find in this one, geography of India. Here all the aspects are covered. And here also, this is class 10th, this is also continuation of class uh, 9, Indian geography. So this way, you find various aspects and most of the 70% to 80%, 100% of marks you are going to score. If you go through these basics, please don't refer different types of books because these are authentic, prepared by the experts and it is exact publication. And here you find the politics in India since independence. You find that one. this is not only history of India, the political history of India and also you find the modern history of India, the political developments in India and also you find various political parties, how they develop, the importance of political parties in a democracy, how the Indian constitution has been working, what, are, what is the framework of Indian constitution, the salient features of Indian constitution, everything you find in this one. These are all class 8, 9, 10 textbooks and it gives a vast knowledge, an in-depth study of the subject required as per the requirement of the subject. The most important is in every lesson you find lots of activities. The activities will test your curricular activity. The topics given is the syllabus, that is, you find mostly concepts, the diagrams, what he is giving, the pictures, what he is giving, and also the statistics, what he has been giving, the maps, what he has been giving. This will provide you in depth study of analysis. And also, you find some basic mathematics. Some basic mathematics. And I feel that one. A uh, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th mathematics, if you can do, it will give you some mental powers. It's better, better to do. And I don't say mathematics is everything, but you should know mathematics because it will help you to develop your quantitative aptitude, sense of reasoning, and logical thing. Here you find mathematics, and then here you find economics. The basic economics of India you find in this class 9, class 8 and some advanced you find in this microeconomics and macroeconomics. For your general science and all that work, for that also NCIP has published some of the books for the students of the classes 6 to 10 and what I feel is that one this will be giving you a more information what is required for your examination purpose. A basic science, scientific temper, and some of the scientific developments, theories and all that one. How the science around us. We work with science every day. The science is nothing but a systematic study. It gives you scientific temper. So sense of logic sense of reasoning, why, why not, these things, it will help. So the most important thing, what I request the students is that one first step, 
it may take you two months time, three months time, or four months time. Don't be bothered about the time. But the thing is, you make one time frame, first three months, four months time. Please try to complete these books first. Please try to complete these books first. Understanding, not understanding is second, second thing. First, completion of these books is very, very important for you to understand widely. This is for the uh, beginners. And we have found that one. So, these are the books what I, we are suggesting. And it is completely at CRT publications. The books are very cheaper in rate. And maximum, if you buy all these books, it will be maximum a thousand rupees or two thousand rupees, Indian rupees. If it is Australian dollars, it is just fifty dollars only. Maximum fifty dollars to spend that you will get all the books required for the civil service examinations. Then comes the other things like magazines. And in magazines also, please don't go for hundreds of magazines. It is better one or two magazines. In addition to all this one, you require some general reading. General reading means you have to know, you have to read about some of the literature works, the simple poems in English and also the language what you are opting for as per your local state. And if you can do this one, I think 70% of the syllabus is perfectly clear and out of 70%, if you get 50% of marks or 55% of marks, you are getting through the preliminary examination. And if you are getting 55% in the main examination also, in these three or four subjects of GS1, GS2, GS3, GS4, as well as SC subjects, then what happens? You are going to cover your examination. And as I told you, your options also will be covering this one. If you are taking some other subject other than uh, humanities, that is different. If you are taking humanities, that is history, geography, uh, political science as your option, sociology as your option, that is also covered in this one. So please follow this one and we will meet you in the next video. Thank you very much.